she's 19 year old lovely model from Russia. Also named as Kaikar Chan, she has a lot of interests, especially for Japan modern culture. Some may not even notice but Nastya is an albino model and albino is when a person lacks normal pigmentation creating a milky white appearance and skin tone and hair color. This Russian model is giving it her all and her photo shoots show just how beautiful she truly is. Her beauty is very ethereal and delicate, and she's protagonist of wonderful photos who represent she from cute person to a warrior and goddess. On other side, Sean Ross is an American professional fashion model, actor and dancer best known for being the first male albino pro model. Regular Girl Mafia appeared on the cover of cult magazine Pop by Chance few years back after she was recommended to the editor by a friend. This is the same agency that has signed models such as Cindy Crawford, Kate Moss and many others. Burnett Moffy suffers from strabismus, or cross eyes, and her distinctive looks are set to take the fashion world by storm. She is still challenging the fashion industry norms with her condition and she is beautifully gorgeous anyway. Double takes are nothing unusual around Alex Minsky, but not because of this war veteran's prosthetic leg. His tattooed, finely chiseled body often gets a second look, along with a blush or two, for how good he looks in his skivvies. The former marine turn model works out twice a day, a grueling maintenance schedule, but nothing compared to what Minsky experienced before reaching this point in his life. Few years before, he lost part of his right leg, and nearly his life, to a roadside explosive in Afghanistan. Minsky, a Purple Heart recipient, learned to walk with the help of a prosthetic limb. One day, while training at the gym, he was approached by a guy who asked him if he had ever worked as a model. A year after his first photo shoot, Minsky is still heating up the internet with photos of his tattooed and ripped body. Madeline Stewart is an aspiring model from Brisbane, Australia with Down Syndrome. As with many people with Down Syndrome Maddie struggled with her weight for a long time, and last year she decided to get healthy and chase after her dreams. Maddie really wants to change the way people discriminate against disability through gaining attention through social media. She wants people to know that Down Syndrome is a blessing, something to be celebrated. She loves the camera. People need to see how she shines, how her personality just bursts out. She may be 87, but there is no sign of the world's oldest working supermodel Daphne self slowing down anytime soon. In an age obsessed with youth and beauty, Daphne self is a welcome reminder that the two are not inextricably linked. This grandmother is in the 65th year of an extraordinary modeling career thanks to her graceful posture, striking cheekbones and her long, lustrous, and unashamedly grey hair. At the age of 87, she is Britain's oldest catwalk model. She earns up to £1,000 a day for magazine shoots and has appeared in adverts for Nevia and Olay as well as a Will Young video. Winnie has a condition called vitiligo which is a skin condition where portions of the skin lose their pigment. Winnie is beautiful of course and outshines many other models. She is the official spokesmodel for VD Legal but that is not her only achievement. Winnie is a Canadian model and actually placed sixth on America's Next Top Model. She has participated in many different type of photo shoots and modeling clothing brands. She also has modeled for numerous magazines and featured in the Cosmopolitan August 2015 issue. Amazon Eve is the world's tallest model. Eve totally dwarfs the majority of men and women she encounters as she stands at a towering 6 feet 8 inches. She began modeling 6 years ago when she appeared on the Zoo Weekly magazine front cover. 
Additionally, she makes money by challenging men to wrestle her for a $400 fee. As a child Eve was always tall. By the age of 14 and already at 5 feet 9 inches, she towered over her classmates and teachers. Over the next five years, Eve suffered terrible growing pains as she shot up 11 inches, and by 19 stood at her current height of 6 feet 8 inches. She eventually took up acting classes to boost her confidence. She dreamed of being a Hollywood star, but the main parts she was called for were for roles as aliens or monsters. You know how they say that models starve themselves to stay thin? That's not the case for a former Miss Earth New Zealand, Nella Zisser. This 23-year-old beauty has a YouTube channel where she specializes in competitive food challenges, such as eating a 5-foot-long sub in just over 9 minutes and a 1-kilo burrito in under 2 minutes. Her latest video has left the internet baffled. She wolfed down 20 McDonald's cheeseburgers in just 16 minutes and put Man vs. Food star Adam Richman to shame. Nella now travels the country entering competitive eating contests. Casey Legler is a woman who exclusively models menswear. With her razor-sharp cheekbones and 6 feet 2 inches height, it's easy to see why she's recently been signed to the men's division at the prestigious Ford Modeling Agency. Legler landed the modeling gig in 2012 when her friend, the photographer Cass Bird, invited her at the last minute to participate in the role of a man for a photo shoot for Muse magazine. The photos were shared with an agent at Ford Models, and the next day, Legler was invited to sign a contract to work exclusively from their mail roster. Kelly Knox is the UK's leading disabled model. She challenges the beauty ideal and is an advocate for diversity in the fashion industry. Kelly was born without a left forearm and since the age of seven has refused to wear a prosthetic. In 2008, Knox won Britain's Missing Top Model. She was one of eight physically challenged women contestants. She has since modeled in shows for London Fashion Week and walked in the trends for 2013 fashion show for Procter & Gamble Beauty Vision House in Beijing. She's also been featured in advertising campaigns all over the world. In 2014, Knox was listed in the Power 100 as one of Britain's most inspiring and influential disabled people. Nicole Ruffinelli is an American woman who currently holds the record of widest hip in the world, according to the World Record Academy. Her weight is more than 420 pounds and her hips measures an unusual 8 feet in circumference, although her waist is only 3 feet 4 inches. She is 5 feet 4 inches tall. Yet the plus-size model, she is proud of her figure and does not want to lose weight, even though she often attracts cheers. She said, everywhere I go I get attention for my hips, both good and bad. Jillian is a fashion reporter. She also has muscular dystrophy and uses a wheelchair. While working at a fashion magazine, she met Nicola, the artistic director for the Diesel Fashion House. A few months later, she saw a casting call from Diesel they were looking for young, hip models that represented a variety of cultural backgrounds. For a bit of fun, she applied. Soon after, she got an email that said, Hey can you send us more pictures? We are kind of interested in having you in the campaign. Along with 22 others Jillian was chosen to be the face of Diesel in their next campaign. When photographers took photos of Jillian, she didn't conceal her wheelchair, but she was worried about how people would respond when the photos were released on Instagram. To her delight, the feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. In 2012, photos of a 72-year-old Chinese man modeling stylish clothes for young women went viral online, after his granddaughter posted them on China's largest retail website. 
What started out as a silly joke turned into a massive advertising campaign for her store. Apparently, Lu Jiangping, a grandfather from China, is the first elderly male model who reached internet stardom for modeling girls' clothes. Lu, 72, has been posing for his granddaughter's female fashion store and mall and although the garments are designed for sweet and cute teen girls, featuring rosy shades, laces and ribbons, he totally pulled it off. His confidence in front of the camera, his slim physique and pair of long skinny legs have apparently gained the admiration of millions. Most importantly, his granddaughter's store sales have increased five times since his pictures went viral. Melanie Gatos was born with ectodermal dysplasia, a genetic disorder that affects the growth of teeth, pores, cartilage, nails and even small bones. The condition means Melanie is bald and doesn't have any adult teeth, but she does not allow it to stop her from reaching for her dreams. Melanie has a successful modeling career despite her condition. She takes the stage with a bald head and no adult teeth, yet she makes it work. She refused to wear dental implants and her fashion career is on the rise. She is transforming the way society views what models should look like. Kenya, 23-year-old woman who was born without legs is defying odds and reportedly earning more than $1,000 a day, working as a lingerie model. Kenya Sesser, of Los Angeles, is breaking through the boundaries of the modeling industry by posing in racy bras and underwear and revealing photos that display her disability. The aspiring model, who was abandoned on the steps of a Buddhist temple in Thailand when she was just one week old and brought to Portland at age five by her adoptive parents, is hoping to use her career to show that different is sexy. Kenya shared, it's something fun and it shows my story, I'm different and that is sexy. I don't need legs to feel sexy, 